Wait, what are we doing? That's better. All right, today's the day. About to leave. Already Good morning. Back for another morning. Come with me. I'm not pretty. I can't get away to a place where we don't know. Are you ready? All right. About to see the world in action. Alex is a little sad that we are going to sell her dirt bike. Her KTM 50 Mini that we bought brand new out of Edge Power Sport. Another 30 minutes, I have a family coming. The little boy is so excited, and they're gonna buy it. So fortunately, we're still making some really good money getting back for what we put into that. Yesterday, we went to the store and we picked up this Honda 50 Sierra. I'm very excited. Do you, do you feel a little bit better about giving up your other bike? Yeah. Three weeks Zuber later. and I are heading to the motocross track uh, and uh, yeah we're gonna be riding her well she's gonna be riding her new Honda and I'm gonna be riding the 110 and Haley Haley is with grandma right now so that allows us to do some more exploring around the jewel motocross area because they've got a bunch of trails that we would like to check out as well in addition to that, I really want to talk today about uh, selling the KTM. I think a lot of you guys are going to think I'm insane, and I want to go through some of the reasons why I sold a paid off KTM 50 Mini and bought a Honda CRF 50 2022. You know, why did I make that switch? You know, clearly the KTM is the better bike. such a, an amazing beautiful day and then then the wind came all right so we're testing out some new audio today how you doing Alex good you're doing good yes all right let us kick on your bike can we do a lap first and go explore oh. please <sighs> prettiest please there's one lap on the track, and then we will go on the venture. Okay. All right, we just gotta let it warm up. Can you just give it a little bit of gas over here? Come over here and give it a little bit of gas. Give it a little bit of gas for me. All right, let's hope the... Everything's set. Hopefully you guys can see and hopefully you guys can hear me. It is very windy. That's what happens in Colorado is you have really cold days and then boom, it's hot. And usually when that happens, you get really high wind. We're coming up on hail season. Woo! All right, so we are at Jewel motocross park and we have a brand new crf 250 i'm super excited about and i think alex is too so far she's actually put more hours on this bike in the two weeks that we've owned it than she did the entire year that we owned her ktm 50 mini so crazy right why the hell is that, might you ask? Well, that's because Alex, as much as I would love her to be aggressive and race-driven and competitive, she's not. Whoa, this is a lot of bumps. So she's now six years old, and she's been riding a dirt bike since she was four. She's been pedaling a 
a bicycle since she was three. Um, but while she's a really good rider, she is not competitive. And the KTM 50 Mini is an amazing bike. It is truly, whoop, whoop, got some deep sand right there. It is truly amazing for what it is, right? It's got the suspension, the brakes, the engine. You know, it is exactly like its big brothers, the adult versions, and what it is meant to do. But because of that, Alex, let's go this way, bud. Huh? This way. Yay, I'm going that way. Okay. Because of that, you know, it is very twitchy. You know, the RPMs, and especially since it's automatic, the RPMs, you know, the bike is either on or it's not. So you could be sitting there and giving it a little bit of gas. There we go. <laughs> go, Dad, go. You could be giving it a little bit of gas. And it's not going anywhere, not going anywhere, and then boom, like whiplash. Every time Alex would get on that thing, she would be so hesitant to ride it because, gosh, yeah, it it literally was just, um, you know, so, so twitchy. So, so twitchy. Um, at the same time, you know, it wasn't, so twitchy that let's see if she can make this turn Woo! nice job Alex nicely done you know it was meant to be a race machine right rev it out of corner yes. you know Alex doesn't want to do that and so she was far more hesitant about riding it than the motocross community they're always so helpful come on bud get on your bike just take off I'll be right behind you bud easy Harvey easy whoa hope this one is in the I'm going to choose that one. I'm going to choose this one. It's much easier. Wow. The, I like, this is a good it's reason like why I like riding it's like the, the Honda 110 and just putting it around because I have to stop so much to help Alex and Haley that a big bike just becomes cumbersome. I got to catch up with her. I totally made the mistake of forgetting my shoes today. Don't forget that. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Damn, this is actually quite hard. She's rocking it. Getting a little gas for it. This one's a big one. This is a big trail. I like it. Whoa! Ah. It's okay. Hurry. Easy. Easy. It's okay, baby. Reasons why we've gone for this guy instead of the KTM. Like, how does the KTM do on trails? Well, honestly, it sucks, right? Like, you have to have a pretty flat, smooth trail, and the kid, your your kid, needs to carry a lot of momentum. Yeah. You know, they're they're not going to be able to. Whoop! She fell down again. Up, oh, mom to the rescue. Gosh, she looks like she just died. Alex! Alex! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. Are you having fun, Alex? Yeah. 
I'm Mama, proud of you, kid. Can we not go to uh, that big hill? Get on. Okay. I'll do my best. Scooch up. Scooch up. All right, take off, girl. So I can't get in, seem ah! to get it into neutral. Go for it, Alex. I'll bowl you. So the KTM 50 Mini is terrible riding it, just putting around. It is meant, it is meant to race, and that is it, man. So if you want to just put around like we are currently doing, it's not the bike for your child, right? That and Alex doesn't want to race. So the, if you take it on trails, I've seen. I've seen videos of kids riding it on trails, but you've got to be pretty confident about riding it on trails as, as a kid, right? The, the child needs to be confident because it doesn't, it doesn't lug up a hill. It doesn't like to go slow. It becomes very twitchy. The throttle is very twitchy, even if you're adjusting the, the clutch. Whereas the 50 Mini, or the, the CRF 50, you know, it, it just kind of lugs around. Look at that, right? Like, she's just kind of putting it around, figuring it out. She's probably hitting life right now. Because <laughs> this trail is a little difficult, but that's okay, right? Let's see if we can get out of here. All right, Alex. Wait, wait, wait. Slow down. Scooch your butt up. Scooch your butt up. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Let's see if she makes it through this, right? You got this, Alex. Rub it out. Give it a little bit of gas. There we go. Woo! Excellent balance, my girl. Woohoo! You scoot your butt up. Scoot your butt up. Whoa. All right, so. Well, the other thing is, put this Alex little doesn't little like to just ride track. Little you know, she gets bored. Yeah. She's she's not gonna go spend four hours going on a motocross track. At least the same track, especially the kids ones. You know, she, if you take her to the bigger tracks, she'll actually stay there longer. Or a new track. Oh. But overall, she just gets a little bored from riding the same kids track over and over again, right? Like after 10 laps, she's kind of like, Meh, okay. Is I see this. So. That was the hardest. Okay, so the other reason um, that we went with this is the, the ability that the Honda has in terms of holding its value. I mean, realistically, I mean, just look at it. The, there are Honda Sierra 50s out there that are 20 years old that are now going for more money than they were brand new. They just, they just are. Uh, Hondas just hold their value. Whereas KTM, especially the KTM 50 Mini, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, gonna hold its value a little bit but you know after five years it's not you know you're you're not gonna get two thousand dollars for a 10 year old KTM 50 mini you're just not and if you pay that price you're you're silly because the amount of work that you need to do on it to keep it look at that curl go going a little off road there woo, woo, woo. to keep it going you know it it is a lot. Oh, yep, yeah, we're gonna find the way out, buddy. We're looking for the exit. So, you know, this, we bought brand new. I know it was, I think 16 or 17 MSRP out the door. We paid $2,400 for it. Where her KTM, you know, MSRP was, I think just under 4,000. And out the door, we paid close to five. And, you know, after a year's worth of work with only nine hours on it, I sold it for uh, 
hundred. Probably could have gotten thirty-eight, but I really wanted the money pretty quick because I saw a dealer get these in and they go really fast. So I really didn't want to take too long on picking up a new Honda CRF. Like, don't take your time on it. Same thing when we bought this 110, right? These these 110s do not hang about. The dealer got it in and we bought it that day. And honestly, we are incredibly lucky to have done that. So, but yeah, so we are out. Woo, sliding around, woo, woo, woo. Like this is what I was hoping that we would do when I envisioned her getting into dirt biking, right? Not cry about continuing to ride. I mean, certainly she's, she's having a little bit of a rough time. It's hard riding this stuff, especially for a kid. But, you know, the Honda is kind of putting around and, you know, it's just taking its time. That doesn't mean that I prefer Honda over KTM. If I had the money, I would, I would buy another KTM in a heartbeat, but that's for me. Right now, we also have a friend. She has a friend, you know, Cash. He likes to ride here. I think he's a year younger. All right, Alex, this way. Alex, this way. This way, buddy. You know, he's a year younger, and uh, they spent some time riding together last year. And you know, Cash is incredibly competitive. And you guys have probably seen him on Instagram, right? Like he's big into racing and all that stuff. And uh, go for it, monkey. You doing uh, okay? Yeah. All right, well, let's keep going. I'm having a great time. All right, go, go, go. Don't let it stall. Woo. So one of the other things, so I, I forgot on which one, or number three, number four, maintenance. Let's compare the KTM versus the Honda in terms of maintenance. My husband's in the army. He's gone a lot. I do now all the maintenance. I do homeschool. I've, you know, I'm doing YouTube now. And, uh, you know, I, I, between the mountain bikes and the dirt bikes and the maintenance on the van and moving and all that fun stuff, right? I don't have time to deal with the maintenance that the KTM required the KTM it was a two-stroke but it wasn't just a two-stroke it was a race two-stroke so yeah whereas the Honda four-stroke and when I talked to the dealer I was like hey you know when should I change the oil he's like ah, when you feel like it but right like you could you I mean you can do whatever you want that's why they hold their value the KTM you ride it nine hours and you've already changed the air filter twice and you've already changed the transmission oil. She's gonna go over this little hill right here. Let her have some fun. Oh. Ooh, my little girl. I'm so proud of my little girl. Alex, Alex, come here, stop, stop, right here. Yeah. Do you wanna go ride the track? Yes. You wanna go ride the track? Oh. Yeah, the same. So yeah, Hi. maintenance, right? Yeah. <laughs> so all those things combined, if I was going to, you know, make the decision, the hard decision, and sell her KTM and and do the Honda, then it was now or never. So it's springtime. Look, look at those clouds. It was. It's springtime and. We definitely, it's the time to sell a bike. It's time to buy a bike. It was now or never. So we made it. Does it hurt my pride watching Alex ride a Honda next to some of these kids with KTMs and Husqvarna 50s? Yes, it does. It totally does, don't get me wrong. But that's just my personal pride. But like I said in the beginning, Alex has now been riding her Honda more than she, you know in the last two weeks than she did the entire time we had her KTM 50 Mini. So you know that's this part of life. 
All right, let's see if I can get her to go a little bit faster. I shouldn't be racing since uh, I don't have my boots on and it's really windy hopefully you guys can see it hopefully you don't hear it I'm really hoping this audio does well because I don't if not I'm gonna have to come back out here and record it again Woo! ouch that sand hurts so bad ah! the little girl doing she's a little little back there so I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow down for that girl but yeah Alex likes exploring um, you know and she likes to just kind of pot around she doesn't she doesn't want to race what am I gonna do Right? If I were to do it again, I probably would have kept her on the PW for another year, even though she is, she's pretty big for it. Uh, and we would have gone straight to the Honda, but that's life, right? Like, woulda, shoulda, coulda. And I gotta do another video. Talk about, you know, how we got Alex to start off on motocross and the bikes and everything, and, and the difference in between the PW and the Honda, and, and all of the bikes because I don't know about you guys, but I had a lot of questions when I was getting started out. I had never grown up dirt biking before and I don't think I really appreciated, you know, what were some of the big important details to look for when getting your kid started on a bike, right? Because it, it's not just suspension. I think suspension is probably the, the last thing to look for in a kid's bike. And it's not the engine, you know, it is seat height and weight and how tall or big your kid is, as well as where they are in their riding, right? So definitely, if you guys are interested in that, I'll bring out the PW, we'll do a comparison between the PW, the Honda CRF 50, we'll talk about the KTM 50 Mini. Uh, we've also got some Stacy electric bikes that we'll talk about, you know, in terms of the Yamaha TTR 50, that's pretty much the same exact thing as the Honda. But yeah, I wanted Alex to have fun. I didn't want her scared of it. I wanted her to feel comfortable. I would love for her to work on, you know, hugging the tank with her knees, and I would love for her to stand more we're gonna get there. I need her to feel like she's having fun again more than anything else. Right, what a good little ride. I'm gonna change gears here and uh, get some girl the girl some water and hopefully go ride the track a little bit. thank you for watching our video if you haven't already done so please subscribe and give us a big thumbs up we really do appreciate it see you guys next week Moto girl. Woo!
fun? Oh.